Welcome back, people of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. So, I, like I said, you know, <clears throat> I told you all that I was going to, uh, 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 the next video was going to be a part two of me uploading the evidence of the, uh, ex ex the, the supernatural experience I had when I seen the uh, fallen angel uh, Zeus in the sky. So, 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 like I said, I had to uh, seek out somebody. And this, this, this person's name on Reddit. His name is the Floyo. So this is. I'm going to read you all this conversation, right? So I said, "This is me. Yeshua is King. That's that's my name on Reddit." So I said, "Are you the one that posted a while ago about seeing a very detailed looking Zeus looking face in the sky?" <clears throat> I ask because I have seen this being and it's not what you think it is. I know exactly what it is and it is very supernatural. So, you know, like, you know, me, I got to, you know, I got to put him on game, right? So he, he responds back. Yeah, that was me. Tell me what you think. So this is me. I'm glad you responded. Well, say I glad, but you know what I meant. I'm I'm glad you responded. Okay, well, I had the exact same experience. I was about eight years old. I meant to say I'm 32. Okay, so I'm 33 now. So this is when I, I reached out to him when I was 32. I was living in a in Hawaii on a military base one night. I was outside, and this very detailed face in the clouds appeared. It didn't like slowly form or anything. It was just there all of a sudden as if it were there the whole time. It was scary. I meant to say I meant to say it wasn't scary, but OK, so it wasn't scary, but it didn't go away. That's why I said. So I meant to say it wasn't scary. It wasn't scary, but it didn't go away. And it was looking directly at me this at me. This was the first time I seen it. I believe I saw it a few more times and I had actually gotten used to the, the idea of seeing it once in a while. But the last time I saw it was when something weird and very frightening happened. What had changed was I started going to a local Christian church, accepted Jesus Christ and got baptized. It appeared to me again. I saw it, closed my eyes and thought to myself, if Jesus Christ is God, then what is this thing? Immediately, his whole presence changed. When I looked back up at it, it looked at me with so much hatred and froze me with fear. Not a normal fear. It was like this thing was beaming fear into me. And I said, God, please make this go away. And it did. And I never saw it again. What you saw was a fallen angel and they are the gods of mythology. So you see, right? The same thing I told you in on my on the previous video, the part one to this is the same thing I'm telling this man. I'm telling you, I am not a liar, okay? Now, now look, I've told plenty of lies, but when it comes to God, I would I I would not play. I would not play with God, okay? Look, okay, like like just like the Bible say, right? Two witnesses, right? Okay, I, I look, I look. I, I meant to say the first time I saw it, it wasn't scary. See, so the story just keep getting backed up with, with with testimony. Now this is him. Was the face moving? What was so strange about my experience was the face seemed to be talking, smiling, etc. It's the only reason why I don't think it was just clouds. The face was able to maintain its perfect detail, all while talking, laughing, etc. Okay, now this is this is also something I forgot to mention too. It says I said, yeah, not the first time I saw saw it. Sometime in between the last time I saw it, it was kind of moving in like a still shot moment where it was like a minor pause in between expressions. Okay, the flow, yo. This him responding to me. Do you remember any type of feeling associated with the first time you saw it? I remember feeling like I was in a kind of trance, almost like this thing had somehow compelled me to come and look at it. Sorry for all the questions. 
awesome to talk to someone who saw something similar. And I'm just curious how similar your experience was. Okay, now back to me. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. The first time I saw it, I wasn't in a trance-like state. But I believe the reason I didn't need to be is because on top of uh, on top of me being a child, my imagination was already open to the supernatural. I believe you had to be put into a trance-like state because of your age, the age you were when you saw it. It couldn't just appear to you at will. It needed, I guess you can say, some type of gateway to open up your mind to see it. Then this is him again. He says, I guess my last question is, would you mind telling me how you came to the conclusion of what it was? Now, this is why I got to bear, bear witness. You feel me? I don't mind. This is me. Yeshua is king. I don't mind your questions, bro. I could talk about this all day. I came to the conclusion of what it was because it appeared to me because because it appeared to me after I had after I had baptized and made Jesus Christ my God. I saw it in a parking lot with my stepfather and I saw it. But for some reason, I didn't tell him about it, about well, I was messing up with this. And I thought to myself, if I believe in Jesus and Jesus is God, then one thing, then one thing. Then what is this thing I'm looking at? I, I didn't realize how much I misspelled stuff. but And when I turned to look back up at it, it looked the same, but with fierce anger and hatred upon me. It was like it was beaming fear into my soul. The fear I had was so unexplainable and so horrifying, I can't even explain it with words. And then I closed my eyes and said, God, please make it go away. And I never saw it again. And when I got older, like in my 20s and even recently, I started doing research and there is God and there is the God, the Romans and the Greeks call Apollo. But in the Bible, his name is Apollyon or in the Hebrew language, Abaddon. And he is the angel of the bottomless pit. So it makes sense that all these so-called gods are really fallen angels trying to get the worship of men. Baal was another false god mentioned in the Bible. Who people sacrificed their children to in the days of Noah before the flood fallen angels procreated with women to create what were called the Nephilim. Now they want to continue what was forbidden, but their new disguise is extraterrestrial life. That's why so many people are making reports about being visited by ETs. But if you watch the interviews where the person says they called on the name of Jesus, the ET visits always stopped after that. I know this sounds very weird, weird, but there's something going on in the unseen world. And what we saw was just a mere peek into the other dimension. I'll answer your questions all day because it's my duty to give you this knowledge. So you will know God is real and Jesus is his son. And the battle between God and the devil is real. Amen. So. You know, like uh, he didn't he didn't really respond because I'm t like this happens all the time. When I whenever I hit somebody with that type of truth, they have to process it. They never really just up and respond because they're so used. Because think about everything I just said and his experience that boy that buried witness to God so much that he don't even know what to say right now. But I sent him this right. I I, I responded back to him because he didn't respond to me. So I said, I know this is an overwhelming revelation that I presented you with. But before you reject what I'm telling you, you can do your own research. Uh, can you please watch this documentary? You know, you see the link, right? That's the link. But if you can't, but if you can't get it from that, just type in Age of Deceit. It's by a channel called Face Like the Sun. Look into this matter. And he says, I'll definitely check it out. I'm not a religious person, but I do think the same stories have been told throughout history and that there is some truth in it all. I really appreciate I really appreciate your insight. And OK, I, and I respond, OK, I'm here for you if you have any questions. So and, uh, and also I'm, I'm also I'm going to try to I'm going to I'm going I'm to I'm tell I'm going I'm to I'm message him again and tell him that I'm uploading uh our conversation and, and my testimony about this experience and hopefully he'll check it out. So yeah, let's, let's click this link though. Just, just to show you what I, I get, got him to. 
Yeah, that's that's what I got them to right there. But y'all be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.